Hey, what's up guys? Michael here with Primal Edge. In today's video, I've got another quick tip for you. Still working on that tool restoration. It's not quite done, but it'll be out soon, I promise you. In the meantime, see if you can find this tip helpful. Now, chances are, at some point in your life, you've run across something like this. Paper towel roll, toilet paper roll, what have you. I never throw these things away. I don't care if you're getting a paper towel roll, toilet paper roll, these bigger ones come from my local gym. I asked the guys up there to save me the uh, the sleeves that the paper towels come in and they throw them over my way and I, and I recycle them. Or we're all doing ordering online, so chances are you might end up with something like this, these, these shipping tubes. Now whether you've got the shipping tube, whether you've got the paper towel rolls, wherever you're getting them from, hold on to these things. They have hundreds of different uses. Now, if you're into tabletop gaming, D&D, Warhammer, that type of stuff, I don't have to tell you what you can use them for. But for the DIY folks out there and the people who like to do crafting vids, I do have something for you. Now, admittedly, this tip might not be all that useful if all you do is heavy construction, uh, furniture making, cabinet making, big ticket items. But if you're at all the type of individual that does small work, detail work, model painting, electronics work, uh, small crafting, sanding, details, anything like that, anything that requires a workstation similar to this, I recommend you make one of these. All it is is a series of these tubes glued together. Now you can use Elmer's glue or you can use wood glue. And I use these things all over my shop, and they work great. Sometimes I'll, I'll stuff some uh, shipping tissues down in the bottom so nothing falls out of the back, but I use them to organize mess like this. I used to stick everything in something like this, and but it got really difficult. So here you go. Boom. I've got paintbrushes, pencils, and pens. I've got a little tweezers here that I, that I use for detail work, some miscellaneous stuff, highlighter that decided to join the party. I've got my honing steel. I've got my razor blade knife. I even got room for a Mora knife in here, a little syringe for, uh, for fine cleaning and detail work. These things are fantastic. Like I said, I got these all over my shop. It holds everything perfectly. It holds it right there. I can move it around if I need to. I mean, I could really envision something, you know, if you had, if you wanted a more permanent setup, maybe setting up something where uh, this is propped up like this, sitting at a slight angle right across your workstation in the back. You need something and you grab it. The, these things, this layout is indispensable for me, guys. I can set this right here, get my work done. If I need a brush, I can get a brush out and do some work. Put this down. If I need to grab something small, I can come over here, put it back. Much handier than when I used to keep stuff sitting in here. Much handier than having it stuck in a drawer somewhere, and yet still completely portable. I can carry it around, put it wherever I need. Fantastic little idea, guys. Uh, I know it's a quick tip, and I know it's not a full video, but again, I just thought this was cool. I wanted to share it with you. Uh, again, I've got these laid around all over my shop, and they get tons of use. Hopefully, you can come up with your own version of it. You can even paint them if you want to. Uh, if you're crafty enough, you can paint this thing up to look like stone or wood or get creative. Enjoy yourself. Cut it to size. You can cut them shorter. You can cut them great on a bandsaw. You can cut them great on a table saw. Even if you had to, you can do it on a handsaw if you, if you really needed to. Once you start adding the glue in these joints, PVA glue, Elmer's glue, wood glue, it somewhat soaks into the fibers the way it does with wood and really gives you a nice solid bond. So little tip for you. Hope you like it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Um, be on the lookout for that tool restoration coming out. I, again, I'm sorry it's taken so long, but I want this thing to come out right. I want to be able to use it and I want it to look good. And some of the pitting on this thing is really giving me a challenge. So that's it for today, guys. I appreciate you joining in. I appreciate your views as always. You all have a great day and I'll see you soon.